from the deep dark reaches of Star Trek Online comes Nicodus and Greebug with another episode of Fleet Action Report. Hello and welcome to Fleet Action Report, the show where we don't just play the game, but we teach you how to play the game. I'm Nicodus. I'm still Greebug. And this is episode 133. I commend your effort. <laughs> It's a creative name you came up with there. Well, you, I, you know, thought I'd be nice. Be, be, it, it, it's a title that makes everyone feel better about themselves. A little uplifting. Yeah. We're good with uplifting here. We, we like people to be uplifted and happy and, well, in some cases, transported. You know, it all depends. And you went silent. Okay, oh, I, I just not... read, uh, apparently we still have um, uh, still Osiris in chat. Um. <laughs> Hi, Osiris. Good to see you. Uh, Greebog, start us off. How has your week been? Uh, I, I didn't get to kill anyone, though Though it was tempting since one of my players w was missing from the D&D &D game. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I actually for that D and D game, I used the Microsoft Whiteboard, which was uh, it, it's a handy program that works with my little drawing tablet I have. And so I drew my. They were supposed to get maps and stuff and and to help them fit, plan and whatnot. And so while they were figuring out what kind of plans they were wanting to do, um, I had the person essentially drawing them their maps, uh, which was me drawing the rough map of, of the city and such um yeah like uh sewer entrances and stuff like that and the fact that the keeps up on a hill and then drew, drew some of the keeps features and stuff like that so that that was an interesting experience um yeah i i opted to do it that way because i can, sure i can draw all this beforehand give it to them beforehand however I never know what my player, what information my players are looking for. And so it made it very simple where I could add it in on the spot. And what if I gave them wrong information? Well, that means that person that gave them the information just happened to not remember it 100% as accurately as they thought. You know. NPCs. Yeah. Sometimes they, they don't know everything. Even though they should. <laughs> hey, I mean, just because the DM knows everything doesn't mean the NPCs know everything. No metagaming, right? Yeah, yeah. That's understandable. Well, uh, he did clearly tell them there are things. He, he's noticed that they were they've been bringing in gears, springs, wires, various mechanisms into the, the keep. He has not seen where they've been going with them. He could not figure out where they went with them. He's never been told about any place that was under construction. Um, they all seem to go in some place, and from there, he, he's lost. So, That's fair. I mean... I figure, you know, there, there's only so much he would know. Anyway, um, outside of D and D, because this is not a D and D podcast, um, though, though I'm sure we could do one. Um, <laughs> let's see. I, I've been playing a lot of WoW, and I've been getting my daily rewards. Oh, don't forget to claim your daily rewards, people. Um, free stuff every day until the anniversary, um, which <laughs> tomorrow's the last free day. Um, today's something too. We'll get to that in a bit, but. Uh, yeah, I've been claiming my free rewards. I've been uh, doing some of my STO daily stuff, but I've been kind of chilling because I knew the event is coming and I was probably going to be doing that fairly heavy and hard here because they're adding a lot of new content. Well, two new. we'll get with that too. Um, there's all the new stuff that they're adding in. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, my, my WoW raid team, we cleared normal of the current raid we we have pushed into heroic 
Um, I think we will probably do. I think we, we cleared it the week last week too, but um, we, we actually did fairly good. We got three bosses down in heroic, so there's going to be some learning. We need more time in heroic to be able to get more stuff. So I think this next week we'll probably skip bosses so we can get further in. Well, skip bosses in normal mode, and then so we can get further into heroic. More time on heroic. Um, how has your week been and what have you been up to? Um, my week has been taken over um, with MMOs. <laughs> uh, I've been playing WoW. I finally unlocked the last uh, race that I needed, which was the Call Tyrans. Um, and I'm, I made, I race swapped one of my rogues into a Call Tyran. And then I made a lower level called Tyrion as a druid, both to get the special druid forms and because I have to level one to 50 to get the special called Tyrion outfit. So I've been working on that character. Um, no raids. Um, I did run some some dungeons, but eh, nobody cares about dungeons. Um, let's see what else. STO. I've been doing my dailies in STO. I finally got the. Uh, giveaway or the not the giveaway the uh, event done today which was nice so i've gotten my inventory the uh freebies here from uh the red alert so i got the experimental ship upgrade ultimate tech and specialization point i haven't used them yet they're just sitting in my inventory and then the giveaway we're going to go over in a little bit but it's right here in the promotions tab fleet support uh, duty officer packs Please note, you have to be level 11 to claim those. So I actually put them on a brand new character and leveled up to 11 today just so I could claim those. Um, other than that, I did run a, a d and game on Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Uh, Path, er, Pathfinder, not Pathfinder, Spelljammer. Um, so, you know, D&D in space, because why not? And my players went on their first space adventure and uh, oh, yeah. did some things on an asteroid and got Killer haunted clowns. by an evil clown. And yeah, it was it was fun. Um, I had one person on the deck due to uh, a hand buzzer and got to watch out for those hand buzzers, man. And uh, had another one who was really close to being on the deck from a hand buzzer. It was great. It was a good day. Hey, I, I, so in this game, we, we may have some very um, innuendos going on. Um, I'm the healer in that group and I'm a plasmoid. So I, I may say that my, my, uh, I, I extend an appendage to caress somebody and heal them. And so everyone takes it in interesting ways. <laughs> but yes, Hang it was fun. Second. I found something new. Uh -oh. um, you can go ahead. I'm going to type this in real quick. You can go ahead and start this week in STO. Okay, this week in STO, as we talked about, anniversary rewards. They they do this every year up to the anniversary. Um. They give like the week before they, every day. It's a 24 hour giveaway only and it switches every day. So like we had four sh ship slots on the first day. Then they gave us a T5 ship coupon and then elite services starter pack. And then the motion picture uniform, which is all things you've missed out on. If you haven't been keep keeping up with the giveaways, um, most of those were in the promotions tab, except for the uniform. That one they just did 100% off, which le basically means you, you can have it on all your tunes. When it's in the promotions tab, it's typically one tune, one captain only, and that's that. So you have to make sure to claim it on the captain you want. Not all of them come in boxes that you allows you to uh, give them to another captain on your account. So I would just log into the captain that you want it on and then claim it there. Um, today is two fleet support duty officer packs. Um, and, and if the image that we had given to us is accurate, tomorrow is going to be two elite bridge officer upgrade tokens. So, which I mean, at least they're free. <laughs> yes. Um, though typically not part of the 
free anniversary rewards during the anniversary they will give us another thing free um does not mean that this will happen they have not said this is going to happen but it has been not an uncommon thing to get a e6 ship token um which is separate from these daily rewards that we were i was just talking about it's more part of the anniversary event itself that it's a a, a random reward that you can come in and claim yeah. uh if that happens um i will put it into the discord notes or like in discord to go grab it so keep, keep your eyes out it's also worth noting that we have not heard about any sort of anniversary ship bundle which they have done for like the last three years running um so don't be surprised if we get an announcement either tomorrow or thursday about some sort of ship bundle if if i um, remember correctly last year's ship bundle they did not say anything about it until after the anniversary event started so they and I think it went on it, the sale because they announced it so late in the anniversary. The sale went past the anniversary event itself. So do not be shocked if we may not hear something right away, but th it may still be coming. It, it, it probably depends on how close to being done with all the ships and packaging that all up they are. I know they are busy folks. So yeah. Who Speaking knows? of. Speaking of the anniversary, the 13th anniversary starts tomorrow and lasts for nearly a full month. It goes until 2.23. Um, you, it requires 40 points of completion to get the grand reward, but you can earn two points per day, so it's 20 days of progress. Um, you can get... Okay, so you have your choice of what you're going to do. There's a couple episodes you can run that are two points each. There's a couple TFOs you can do that are two points each. Um, or you can do patrols or the Omega Particle Stabilization to get uh, individual points. So it just depends on what you want to do to get your two dailies done. Um, the reward is a new T6 ship, the Compiler, uh, Compiler Dreadnought. This is a science dreadnought. Um, it also has one hangar bay and comes with uh, unique pets. Those are upgradable through the normal means not upgradable you can buy higher quality versions through the normal means let's be specific here um I, this the ship it looks okay it, it is a science based like i said science dreadnought um i won't really know a whole lot about it until i get a chance to fly it i am planning on using it on my ice princess um We'll see how it goes. It looks neat. Um, it's got this giant eye looking thing that glows blue and kind of shimmers when it moves around. It's really, really pretty. Um, and a lot of the uh, vanity shields look really, really cool with it. But, you know, check it out for yourself. All right. Yep. So yeah. they, they're adding in also a lockbox. They didn't put a date on it. I am guessing that it's going to drop on the 24th as well. Um, normally, they only announce a new lockbox and the stuff coming in it roughly a week before, a week to three days before it goes into the game. So I'm guessing it'll go this. It'll probably, if it's not tomorrow, it will be soon. Um the things to note in there is it's adding in the World Razor Temporal Op Juggernaut, which is a ship. Um, it was in a painting in Picard in the background, and so they have turned that into an actual ship into the game. Um, from my understanding, you can, if you do not like the appearance of the ship, it will be able to be, I was about to say transmogged. Um, you can go to the appearance um, and... Uh, ship appearances and change the ship appearance to look like a lot of the other galaxy class ship parts. It will share with the galaxy classes or parts. Um, it, it looks on paper like it, from my understanding to be a decent ship. 
However, many things, uh, like, they have put many things in that look good on paper that don't always ma math out or it, once in game don't, don't work as well as we thought. Um, so, um, they're also adding in some kit modules. One's called Explosive Drones, one's called Shield Drones, and one's a Watcher Servo. Um, I, I'm going to guess the Explosive Drones run after people and explode. The, the Shield ones probably stay near you and shield you. I don't know what the Watcher Servo does, but uh, yeah. And the, the one big thing that... The World Razor will be using a new type of phaser, and those will also be in the box as, as options, and they are the obliviating phaser beams. Um, from what many people were commenting about, these look m a lot closer to be in, in, in appearance and use. The, the pulse phasers, they, they seem to have more of the pulse phaser appearance when firing than, than previous versions of yeah, that are in-game. Um, the, the neat thing about the, these phasers are they have a chance to bypass shields and hit the hull directly. Um, so whether or not they will be the new meta will basically depend on how well they perform. Um, they have potential. They're also adding in 2399 phaser rifle. There's also going to be Mr. Vup's pistol. And then there's going to be some Watcher Bridge Officers and a Cat Companion that also comes in the pack, or can come from the pack that the Bridge Officers do. It's worth or noting. Is that Duty those... Officer? I think that's Duty Officer. No, it's Bridge Officers. Oh, it is. Br correct. Oh. Um, Normally they just give us that, offs. That we don't know traits. We don't know what these Bridge Officers are going to you know how yeah. effective they're going to be what traits they're going to have we don't know any of that so they they out. here's a big okay. question mark on those so yeah and normally with a lockbox edition they normally add in things into the lobby store and the two things that they're adding for the lobby store that kind of fit with this lockbox there's a combat throwing star and then a zatvash rifle so the rifle sounds pretty cool um Actually, so do the twenty three ninety nine phaser rifles. All, those all well, sound really neat. I might have to try them. The throwing star works much like the uh, that Terran knife that we got in the mission, where yeah. it takes a a device slot, and and turns your secondary. Well, instead of hitting with the butt of your rifle, you then instead of throwing your your combat throwing stars. And I don't know, there may be an appearance, like you may be able to have the appearance of the badge on. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah. Something I found out today, this is not part of anything official that Cryptic has done, um, but I did find uh, a giveaway, the Alienware uh, Arena giveaway. Uh, it, this is something they have done before. It offers a Mirror Universe Agony Field Rifle, an Elite Services Pack, and a small experience boost. Just do a Google search for STO giveaway, and I'm sure you'll find it. Um, according, I have it pulled up right now. It says they have 2,724 keys left. So this does appear to be currently active. I don't know if this is new or just one that I missed uh, over time, but it's got a lot of keys left. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so now that we've used up about half of our hour here, um, there's a lot of information to share. Sorry, guys. Anniversary event. It, it's yeah. And Osiris, a uh, Euro trip is a great movie. And my wife really, really, really wants a Catan board game. So uh, I don't know if you mean the board game or the video game, but you know, Catan fun stuff. Um, okay. So our primary target today, we are going to talk about commendations which used to be called something different. And I don't remember what that is. Uh, so duty officers stuff. What was it before then? Was uh, it just diplomacy? I think it was technically accommodation, but we, we never called it that because it was always with the duty officers. Schools. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we had diplomacy before the the duty officers were a thing, because you used to have to go around and raise your uh, diplomatic rank through doing very very specific missions, which we'll get to here in a minute. I can't remember now. It's See, been it's been so long. Too long. Ago. Anyway, so you find your commendations by opening up your duty officer menu and going to the overview. Your list of commendations will be right here. And there uh, are I'm, 11 of them. Go ahead. I was like, and clearly this is a tune that I've done this all on. I, I This is Katiz, and I mean, he, he does have rank four diplomacy, rank four development, but a lot of the others, he's at three, two. None of them are at one, so that's a thing, but a lot of them I still need to work on. You can see where my priority lies. So the 11 categories for the Fed, it's uh, diplomatic. For the KDF, it's marauding. And then you have on both, it's science, engineering, military, exploration, espionage, medical, colonial, trade, development, and recruitment. Um, when you level these, when you get to rank four, well, you can click here and, and go through. Like, there's titles you can get. Um mostly what it is is you get access to higher quality duty officers all the way up to you know the the rarest um in some cases for diplomacy you get a diplomatic corps uniform you get a transwarped uh, ds9 you get a single bridge officer candidate from an enemy faction um and voting rights apparently on ds9 so, I mean, you can unlock a lot of stuff through this. Not R&D schools. We're talking about commendations. Um, let's see. What did I write down? We already talked about the DOFs. Okay. Greebog, you want to start us off with uh, how to gain commendation experience? Uh, anymore now, the way to do it is find a location that has... Well, th there's multiple ways to do it. Um technically being anywhere in sector space, even in, in uh, some systems um, or, or even on some grounds, you can pick, go to your duty officers and current map. It should pull up a list of all of the potential mission, duty officer missions you want to give. They're broken down by branch, like uh, here's diplomatic, science, so on and so forth. Um, so you can target specific schools if you want. Um... And there's also personal. This is only what you'll see. It will be different per... per technically, I, I think it will even be different per captain. If you log in different captains, they will have different one. Um, and then... It, it, these are all also... Yeah, it, it's... This is not account-wide. Unfortunately, everything you earn here is per captain. Then once, let's say you don't find anything in there and you know you want to focus on, say, hey, I want to focus on medical. I can go to my department heads, click on medical, and then it will give me a list of medicals, you know, tasks that I complete with my duty officer. Um, and, and you have basically all of your primary bridge officers will have a role here that you can pick like engineering operations science medical tactical security and even your first officer first officer is a bit more of a well they they have a bit more of a mixed bag um it, it will be where you might find some diplomatic some recruitment um stuff like that sometimes some operation stuff will be in there too but uh that that is the current big way to pick up on that. Um, now, if you are looking to target or or to find a bunch of, say, duty officer missions that, without having to recruit tons and tons of people, like the recruitment system, like yes, you can go to, um, the academy, or or first, well, basically. You can go, whether you go to the Klingon Academy or, or the Federation Academy, you can still, you, you can go and recruit more bridge officers are there that will give you recruitment. If you are full up on, on slots, one place I was told to go is into the Dyson Sphere um, in this allied zone. And there are 
you will find recruitment and colonial missions in here that you do not have to have colonists and you don't have to have people you know you don't have to sacrifice bridge officers or or duty officers to some of these missions and yeah I know I've gone far deep into the wood weeds here. You're fine. I'm looking for tulip berries. Tulip berry. Um, Which apparently I can't get this way, so I don't know where to get tulip berries from. So, what you're looking for when you pick up these missions, wh whichever category you want to do, um, you're looking for the CXP or the commendation experience. Uh, in this case, it'll be Diplomacy XP, and this particular mission takes an hour, rewards 68. 68 is not a lot. Um, if you go to the overview, and you can see, like, to get to rank 4, you need 100,000. So, that particular one, 68 is not a lot. Better than nothing, and it only takes an hour. So, there's a quick turnaround. What you're really looking for, though, is like this one here takes six hours, rewards almost 600 engineering. Uh, the two that I just queued up while Grebog was uh, talking rewards over a thousand each. So we go to in progress, 1384, and I, I queued up three of those for medical, um, which is a lot. So that's pretty high for a reward what you get on there. So that's kind of what you're looking for. When you queue one of these up, um, it shows you here what it requires. So this one, science and civilian or officer, you hit plan and it should populate those automatically. However, you can click on them and select different ones if you so choose. Now that's going to change your uh, success chance, which is listed right up here. Um, but, you know, you can set it up however you want and... You hit launch and it'll it'll go and then whenever your time's up come back take a look at it some will require additional components like this uh, wants some shield generators which i already have it populated my three officers gives me a 73 percent uh, success rate 21 percent critical chance and a six percent failure so i'm i'm okay with that and then i'll i you know, after the show, I'll just log in tomorrow and complete this and get my rewards. So that's typically how you would raise these. Um, there are some alternatives. I, I you want to want to talk about the marauding because I've done a fair amount of marauding, so I, I okay. know a little bit on how to do. Like, I can't show you in. in I guess I, I can't show you with this captain because, well, I'm fed. Um, however, marauding typically, the way I found marauding, there is basically a line that you can do. And it is essentially starts all the way up at the top at the Demoris sector. And then you basically draw a line down until roughly where the briar patch is then those three sectors like you know the vega well the riza sector the say sector um also have a fair amount of marauding in them but also if you go down to arcanus and the chronos that you can get marauding there in those as well now yes you can find marauding in other places but from what i've seen that weird l with the finger off going towards Ryza tends to have the highest quantity of marauding missions. I just by flying through some of those sectors, I've been able to get to 20 marauding missions only. So yeah. 20 of them. Yeah. I had 20 of them queued up and going. Nice. That, that should raise that pretty quick. I, I, on the, the reason I mentioned that KDF recruits, you have to get your marauding the rank four to get one of the uh, goals for the KDF recruit. And that is how I did it. Um, I can actually thank Mem for that. Um, he gave me the image on doing the marauding and uh, that helped me out greatly. There were some people saying, oh, if you just sit on top of this one system, 
you can get marauding left and right. I went to that system. I never had that work for me. It, it was easier for me to fly just a little bit around in some of those sectors, and I picked up enough. All right, now One that the... special. Oh, that was that was a big one there. What was that? Espionage, 1,400 espionage. Nice. Um, I'm still working on my gamma recruit, trying to get some of the, uh, uh, yeah, commendations up. I got to get six of them, and I'm getting close. I've got four with two more that are pretty close to it, so I'm working on it. Um, one of the one of the tricks that I've I was taught is to come to the uh, Dyson Sphere and come to the uh, battle zone. The rewards in here tend to be a little bit higher than elsewhere. Um, and a lot of people online seem to think that this is the absolute best place to come for commendations. Now, you don't even have to leave this protected spawn in area. You can stay right in here. You pull up your duty officers, go to current map, and this is what you're looking for. Um, a lot of them in here. Well, actually. Oh, I told you the wrong place. Okay. It's over here. DOF assignments. Lower right. So you come to the starting area, pull up these DOF assignments, and these are going to give you about 600 each. And that's what you're looking for to, to level your stuff. Um, now, these change daily. Right now, they're offering science, engineering, military, exploration, espionage, medical, colonial trade, and development. So there's a good selection, but like some of them, trade, colonial, development, all have one each. But still, you're talking about 600 points that you can queue up. That's kind of kind of good. So you come in here and you do this. Now, another thing you can do is you can get a CXP bonus pool, which I've got. I'm sitting on 21,173 bonus CXP. And you get these from the Zen store or you can get them on the exchange. Uh, and I guess you can get them out of the Cardassian lockbox if you have some of those sitting around. But they come out a lot. A lot of them come out of lockboxes. Then people can sell them on the exchange. Yeah. So is all it said on the wiki was it was specific to the Cardassian lockbox. It's not. Okay. There you go. So I, it's right here. It's under items. You've got a large and small boost in here, so you can buy them here, or you like I said, you can get them out of the lockboxes. So it's lockbox in general let me change our notes here at least they come um, out I of the infinity them. so oh there you go uh i bought tesla taxes here off the exchange he had a hundred thousand bonus at one point and obviously i've used much of that up well i'm just curious real quick where i'm at on this so it is six that i need okay Still got some work to do. Um, now, it's worth noting, I put this in as a secondary target just because it's not really worth your time to do this. But if you're bored and you're looking for something else to do, there are some hidden episodes that reward uh, diplomatic CXP. You kind of have to go off the beaten track for them. At one point in time, this was the only way to gain, uh, to improve your diplomatic rank. And that was like we were talking about before the, the duty officer uh, system was introduced and uh, diplomacy was moved over to that. Um, and some of these have been removed. There used to be more of them, but uh, several of them have just been pulled out of the game and, and removed or like... There used to be a couple of them on Memory Alpha, and although you can go to the planet Memory Alpha, you can't visit the surface. You cannot beam down. So obviously, any missions that were there, you don't have access to. Um, so 
we don't necessarily have to go visit all these places, Grebog, especially since we're down to our last 15 minutes. So do you want me to read through them and then we'll go blow something up for a little bit just to have some fun? Sure. Time? Well, I mean, okay. yeah, read through those. I might have some more comments. Oh, do you want to jump right no, no, in? No, no, read through. The, what, go for it. Okay. So in the... Let's start with Beta. In the Beta Quadrant, you can visit Starbase... Star, ah, I can't even talk now. Starbase 39 Sierra. In there, in the back corner, you'll find a Lieutenant Commander Brokal who will give you a mission called Trade Deal. This requires you to run around, talk to some ambassadors. You'll find out that there's a uh, complaint going on between a couple of the ambassadors, and basically it's your job to fix it. Good luck. Um, also in the beta quadrant, you can go to Vulcan and beam down to the surface and you will find Tasawa and she will give you a, a mission called Ancestral Sin. So it's a little bit of a like mystery that you're trying to solve. Um, I didn't actually run that one. I did run trade deal. Um, take that as you will. Once you're done with those two, you can run over to the Alpha Quadrant. This is the area of space that DS9 is in. Uh, a lot of this has to do with the Deferi. So in uh, once you're in the Alpha Quadrant, you can just go to... Actually, you may not even need to be in there. You just go to your Available tab. You scroll down until you find Ambassador Sura, which I don't know if I have unlocked on this character. I have not. Okay, so you f find uh, Ambassador Sura here in the list, and you pick up Rescue Deferi Captives, and then it'll take you to a, an area where you have to rescue some Deferi from the Breen, and you can either do it with diplomacy, like you can talk the Breen down, or you can fight them, and then you go it. This is still in the game, so that one I it know is. you can do. And you don't um, have to be in the Alpha Quadrant. I can okay, look at it right now. That's good. To know. I just haven't ran those missions on this character, so I'm not surprised. Um, because you have to to unlock that, you have to ran run the uh, Cold War storyline, which is in the available tab. Scroll down until you find it. It's in here. Let's see. After the Rava system, you can go to Bajor. You can pick up Standoff from Samua on the surface of Bajor. This one rewards an accolade and a title, um, but it is not repeatable. Most of these are repeatable. This one is not. Uh, you can beam up to Deep Space Nine itself from Captain James Kurland. You can pick up one called Temple Offerings, and then you run around Deep Space Nine until you solve it. This one is also not repeatable. Um... And then, according to the wiki, this last one is still available. I could not find it. So there may be... You may have to have a certain level of diplomacy. I don't know. Um, but in the Alpha Quadrant on Defera, you can pick up one called the Breen Connection from Jiro Sugihara. And like I said, this may be defunct, although it was still listed on the wiki. So take that as you will. Comment away, Greebog. Oh, I was also going to mention the clusters. Because those are definitely other ways to work on accommodation experience. And at the end of each cluster, there is a uh, special reward. Normally, it's another duty officer with a special, um, sometimes a very uh, rare ability or school um, that you could use for... Either R and D is there's one out there for R and D. There there's others out there that just have something that is harder to get a hold of normally, but each cluster has a chain that you have to do, and you you get a special reward when you complete the chain. Now you're talking about star clusters, right? Yes, the star clusters. So if you look on the area map. You can see them as they have the duty officer icon, like the three people in the. And if you mouse over, it'll say like Harami cluster or, or a Tran cluster, you know. 
that there are several of the clusters out there, and I believe they're in all the quadrants? Or, well, maybe, I don't know if there's any in, in, in oh, you can Gamma actually... or Delta. I know, I know Beta's got some, and I'm pretty sure there are clusters in Alpha. Yeah, there, there's a cluster I, if, there. If you go to your system list and just type in cluster, it will show all of them to you. And then you can just double click and it should take you there. Should. Well, I was, I was also looking, if you look at the, the galaxy map, it shows the icons or also the, the clusters, nebulas that have special duty officer missions. Because um, apparently there are some that are nebulas and... Uh, the Zenus Expanse also apparently has something. So, what do you see? Huh? Oh, I see. The Eridani Belt. Okay, I yeah. got it. The Kazon Cluster. So so there are more... If you're looking for special... And I, I would assume that those also have chains. But like I said, I am not seeing any in the Gamma Quadrant or the Delta Quadrant. So it seems to be a Alpha Beta only. So yeah. Cool. So you know what you're looking for. Yeah. And if you're curious on what all of those are, what the, those special rewards are, I would have to Google it. So that 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 would be my suggestion for you. Um, yeah. So, I did notice, and this is, it's probably been in a while, but there ha always has been assignment chains. They now have added it, made it so they have a separate spot in your duty officer list. So like you have the current map personal department heads and progress completed assignment log. And they gave us a separate tab just for assignment chains too. They used to be mixed in with the current map. So it is a way to see where you are on the assignment chain though. I don't think it's how you can pick up the missions. So you can kind of see where you're at. Um, you get a check mark every time you get one of the assignment chain parts done. So yeah. Now, I have a question for you that you will know a lot better than me. Uh oh. Um, the Admiralty system does it ever give commendation experience? Not that I've seen. Okay. Admiralty is its own uh read. <laughs> I guess it has its own experience, you know, because it has the four, you know, United Federations, Planet Klingon Empire, Romulan Republic, Ferengi Alliance, and that's that. Right. Okay, I just wanted to check because I couldn't remember if it also occasionally would give CXP. I have not seen it do that. Um, I, I could be wrong, but I would guess no. Okay, cool. All right, so we got about eight minutes here until we're done. Shall we do the daily? Sure. Um, anybody I... anybody in chat want to join us for the daily? We got space for three. Here, I'm going to change a character. Blow Speak stuff up. up or forever hold your peace. We blow stuff up good. Let me know when you're ready for an invite, Gree. Uh, I should be good. Oh, Simon. You're bringing Simon along. Yeah. Okay. Simon it is. I, I, I've set up this ship to be interesting. Let's see how many of these we can get done in 10 minutes, shall we? This should be fun. Although some of them have a longer queue time than others. Well, hopefully I don't have to do what I did the other time I was in here. I'm going up and left. Hey, you're not going to solo all of them. I'm here with you. My spam bar. Come on. There we go. Load up. Oh, I love ignoring shields so much. I just oh, watched a cubic. I just watched a cube explode with full shields. <laughs> okay, I'll go down here and get this one. 
This has always been fun. Just coming in here and tearing these things up. Like, you know, it's just fun to watch a cube blow up with full full shields. And then probably oh, going, what just happened? Cube almost took me out. Yeah, I've been in here with certain groups that, that just wreck. And then I've been in here, here in groups that uh, you can tell people are still working on their gear. It's fine. So oh, I've oh, also been in here with someone. Group. Well, I was like, I've also been in here with a group where at least two people just sat at the start place and did nothing. Oh, just, okay. Just AFK'd it. Uh-huh. And someone was like, I don't think you can AFK and get credit. And I'm like, oh. well, if they can't, then they didn't. Because <laughs> they oh, I didn't. That. didn't. Yeah, I think there, you have to do X amount to be able to get credit for this. I thought that giant torpedo was coming at me. Coming right for me. Um, don't leave, Gree. And okay. I'll uh, I'll just queue us up for the next one. It's gonna go down in order here. Come on, Seville, go away. I I have installed the immolating phaser lance onto this. Which one's that from? Uh. What ship is it? Um, it, it's the, the 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 android ship that we blow blew up a lot when we were fighting over Mars. Oh, you have that? Yeah, I didn't know you had that. I have that. Cool. Cheers. Did you get it from Muds? Uh, when they had a super sale at one point, yes. Coolio. That, that, that's the I only time <sighs> it's about the only way I'm going to get one of those ships <laughs> oh yeah I've gotten I got my stuff from MUDs too I spend more on that than I really should yeah I wouldn't mind getting more ships except my pocket bo pocketbook mines so you know <laughs> oh he survived it darn it There was a tarantula, the named one. Well, between you and I, I mean, we both deal a lot of DPS. He's down. Oh, hey. I love my teleport thing. <laughs> Apparently they hit me hard enough real quick that it popped my teleport. And it teleported me out of the bubble. Because I was in the and middle, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to shoot my way out. And like, and no, I'm not. Don't leave. A Tholian red alert? Yeah, that's... I had a weird one a ways back, warped into a complete Tholian. Oh, you mean without the Borg? Yeah, that, that does happen occasionally. Um, Alachi, let's see what happens. I think some people don't know when things complete and may not wait. Hey, everything looks like it's done, and then they warp out. Oh, yeah, I get that. So, so you oh, may have I also come into one that uh, someone warped out too early, leaver's penalty, or disconnected, who knows, and that put you in. After the Borg were already dead. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, he was saying, like, the completed a Tholian red alert. Like, he came in and it had just completed when he got there. So this is the part I'm curious about, because I queued us for both. And we're still sitting here. Of course, it might be that this third guy in the party hasn't accepted. I'm guessing that's a simulated ship as mine, then, since it's sitting by me. Are you assimilating things? Uh, don't don't mind the the tarantula over here. 
that that is assimilated. Um. Okay. So fun night is Thursday, and unfortunately, I won't be here for that. Um, I will be at work. Probably somewhere really far away if my luck holds the way it has been. Um, it's going to make us leave in 15 seconds anyway. Yeah. I wonder how that works since we're queued up. I, Will it kick us out of queue? I don't know. I think we're about to find out. Sadly, I don't get to keep my uh, tarantula. Wouldn't that be cool, though? <laughs> oh, we are out of party, so we invite it you. Still put, it still shows that I'm in queue. Uh, I am not. It was still blinking for me. Let me double it check. It kicked me out. So I think once I joined your party, it removed. Did you you put us in, right? I just did. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll once see, yeah. once I I joined you, it kicked me out of the queue that I had. We'll see if it if we get a queue here in a in a second. So uh, I'm gonna miss fun night on Thursday, and then next Monday I will also be at work. Um, so I won't be here for the show. Graybog will be flying solo. And he's gonna he's gonna cover bridge officers, which is a, a topic we did a long time ago, like I think two years ago. So yeah. he's gonna cover that and update it with newer information, and it will be a good show to watch. So tune in. That'll be next Monday, a week from today. Um, and I may be in the crowd if I'm not, like I said, driving somewhere crazy. Um, I'll try to tune in and watch. Oh, hey, look! Oh, we get Zinkethy. That's weird. So I may, so it's the first time we focused a lot more briefly on things. So I may focus more on special bridge officers. So that way people understand where they come from and maybe how to get them. I, uh, I tentatively titled your episode once more into the boffs. Feel free <laughs> to change it. Sure. I might try to get Tabby to join me as a, as a co-host. She'd be a good one. She's she's good with bridge officers. She knows what she's looking for. It just might be a matter of how much time she has available. She is a busy, busy person. Ain't that the truth? Okay, here we go. So this is the Zinkethi one red alert that back. has a fail criteria, and they've been saying they were going to remove that for years at this point. Um, you'll have Zenkethi ships that will warp in, and they will launch torpedoes at the planet. If any of them hit, you fail, and will get no credit for completion. So typically, it's a good idea for one person to uh, chase down torpedoes. And then the other people will go to these satellites here and basically defend these satellites. There is a set number of enemies, or there is a 15 minute timer. This is Captain Zenkrottle. I went right. You are good. Looks like you got two friends with you. Or we're missing someone. No, there's two friends. There's two people on your side. Means that when I technically there's one because I'm just flying around in the middle. I figured I would be the one to go chase down torpedoes. They're launching protomatter torpedoes. Well, so someone went left my. I'm not chasing down torpedoes. I'm teaching them not to shoot torpedoes. There you go. That sounds like a good plan. This is what you first. get for shooting They're torpedoes at my people. Your, your first wave for shooting torpedoes is gone. <laughs> You're enjoying that too much. 
I, I have built this ship very well, and I'm happy about it. It is fun. It is fun to just let you, come in and annihilate. When we did our PvP thing the other day, that's the I should have let you switch to that ship. I did a tweak some of my my hot bar setting because I did oh, not. Okay. I got it. It's fine. I did not have my buffs going beforehand. Before a certain ability was triggering, so I was not getting a full boost to my. Uh... Oh, we're just going to kill oh, me and this other person. They are science build. They grouped them up for me, and I am just annihilating. Torpedoes. Oh, he's got right, I'm going to go take care of this other group then. We only have the battleship left. Oh, no, we don't. It's gone. Oh, no. I just got over here. Give well, I was just saying so, board. you know, we can come and help. I'm trying. There, he's gone. <laughs> that was a ship. Like I said, between me and you, we're both pretty good. Both satellites are up. No yeah, well, this satellite might my, my. Well, we're already on the boss fight, so I'm gonna go take care of these guys, and then I'll come help with the boss. If there's anything left of the boss. Oh, you had to put that right on top of them. Okay, that takes care of those guys. Now I'm coming to help with. And we're done. Cheers. A single one of their torpedoes All right, that was short and sweet. Go ahead and leave. Such an again. That was short and sweet. Uh, which ability are you asking about? The one that I am... I, I switched around, or what? Cyrus asked, asked a question. Ask away. I moved... So what I did... I moved the emulating phaser lance firing trigger to be much lower in my bars. So if you here, let me put myself big screen. Once that goes through, once I, I, I I'm also delayed. So over on the right, essentially the, these bars um, on the right side here, they trigger from the top ability first and go down. And it happens on both bars. So it, it's just the way they work when you even it, like with, with the uh, hit doing the spam bar. So I moved my uh, emulating phaser lance ability lower in the bar. So that way I made sure I had all my buffs rolling before it decided to go and annihilate. Which means I might be able to one shot. Oh, uh. The one you were referring to in your story. Oh, the. Okay, so you wanted the buffs to go before the lance fired. Yes. I, I, I want. That's, I, that's what he's asking about. Yeah, I, I was looking to make sure things like, uh, you know, attack pattern beta, uh, you know, is having also distributed targeting trigger, all, all, anything that would boost my damage output. Because it also first. boosts damage of the lance. So yep. it's already a heavy hitting ability, but you can boost that further with certain abilities and whatnot. So, yes. Yeah. So that that's what I was looking at, too, why I moved it. I didn't. At first, I think I just tossed it onto the bar because eh, I wanted it to fire when I hit the space bar. It's more fun when it does annihilation. Um, Grebog, I believe AIE is waiting for us to, to close so they can 
work on that administration thing they have going on. Okay. Um. Well then, let's. We're, we're, I think we are done for the night. We we've covered our topic. The fleet update. Uh, fleet is rolling along nicely. We are. We are. We are. Closing in. Like, there are. This project, when this project completes, um, I will be able to queue up the Renewable Energy Tier 5 Big Mega Project, that, then that will be done. That also means, once that one, that Big Mega Project completes, I'll be able to queue up the Tier 5 Colony Mega Project, and we will have a Tier 5 Colony. Well, we'll have to put in all the resources, yada yada, you know, but we will... We'll be, we'll, we're moving along. We're, we are there. Um, yeah. Then we just have the two smaller branches to finish off and we'll be good. Um, KDF side is, they have a tier two star base now. Um, still working on other projects. Dilithium mine still needs a lot of dilithium to complete, but it is getting closer and closer as people donate. Um, but yeah, it, it should be nearing it, its final completion as well. So. That's the fleet update. Okay. Well, as always, I will leave you guys with the words of Q. See you out there. Live long and prosper, everybody. And stick around for the after show.